So it's going over the berm, cut out, right the motherboard. Well, now time to put a new motherboard or a new motor. And the next time you see the S22 on the channel, it'll be a brand new wheel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. The newly restored King Song S22. As you can see, I gave it a nice little paint job. I don't know, I'm a sucker for white. I like the white look. Uh, so I decided to go with white. Originally, I was gonna go with like some type of uh, electric blue or something like that. Uh, that's a, a color I really like as well, but decided to go with white to match my Sherman that's currently white as well. Um, it's got some uh, features here. Well, went ahead and got some, uh, Clark, not Clark pads, uh, Grizzly pads. Made my own fairings. Got some uh, bumper here, just to put on some, uh, it's like a 1 8 inch rubber sheet that I just, you know, put on there as well, just for protection. Same thing up here, I got like this uh, foam rubber um, guard here for the front. And then also again, that rubber sheet, that 1 8 inch sheet here to protect the sides. Got it on both sides over here. So that kind of uh, protects the sides if it falls over. I saw a couple of scratches there uh, when I originally dropped it. So I figured, oh, those are the scratch points. Let's go ahead and put some protection there. Um, these foam things kind of help out too. Everybody always complains about this edge here. It is uh, pretty uncomfortable. Putting on some of these, um, they're for garage doors. I'm sorry, for, for garages, for like car doors not to hit, you know, the walls inside your garage. That's what it's meant for. Um, bought a couple of those, cut them in, not in half, but maybe like a quarter and stuck them on there. Um, yeah, decided to keep this tire. As long as you have it really uh, a real uh, good PSI on there, it's nice and hard. It's actually a really good tire. Uh, so change my mind on it, I'm gonna keep it. Besides, it actually has the same tread pattern as uh, the Shinko 244. Exact same uh, pattern, except for this is a lot softer um, rubber material. So there she is. All new, as you see too. Got uh, some Audi stickers on there. Just make it look cool. Kind of throw people off going, oh, does Audi make that? No. But uh, also, went ahead and uh, stuck a pebble on there as well just to give me both readings at the same time speed in mileage because this is kilometers and then also it'll tell me my uh, battery percentage at a glance instead of having to look too far down to read this display here there you have it well enough talking let's see some s22 ride footage coming up you'll see some footage of stability both on and off road torque ability to climb hills easily handling and you don't want to miss out on the really cool suspension footage at the end of this video so make sure that you stay for that let's start off with road performance one of the things that drew me to the wheel when I rode the demo back in February was the fact that it felt just like my Sherman as far as stability here on these curvy roads, the S22 has no problems curving down the street at moderate speeds and feels very stable. With the advantage of having suspension on the S22, it just makes it for a smooth and buttery ride. Stability is very important at high speeds, and the S22 doesn't even flinch. I got the alarm set at about 40 miles an hour on this one.
downhill curvy roads. Now this is where the Sherman would get a little wobbly, just making a turn if it's just too much on the inside, too much on the outside, too fast. But the S22 doesn't seem to have issues. Off-road stability is equally as good. Here I transition from pavement to dirt with no issues at all. The S22 has some decent torque for rapid hill climbing as demonstrated here. Here we get to listen to the S22 motor as it takes on the steep descent and incline. Navigating the S22 through loose dirt and dry leaves is but a breeze. Here I'm purposely rolling over roots and rocks going uphill to demonstrate the ability of torque coupled with suspension. Okay, I'm going to let this one speak for itself. Pay attention to the suspension in this one. This is a really rutted dirt road with a bunch of loose gravel on it. Very sketchy going very fast downhill. So check this out.
Well, ladies and gents, thanks for sticking to the end of this video. You're watching the Five Kawak channel. If you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and until the next time, stay dusty, my friends.